Joker, greetings cyber dogs and citizens of the interbubs and welcome back to episode 5 of this Let's Play Oxygen Not Included series with me, Ren Diggity Dog. This is the Ren Skull Stress Incorporated Colony and I gotta say man, things are looking pretty good around here. Let's take a moment at the beginning of this episode to have a quick look at where we are at. We've got power, Ren Diggity Dog running away in the hamster wheel, generating electricity that is being saved in these tiny batteries. We have got oxygen production coming out of these algae deoxidizers. We got food on the go, but growing these mealwood plants inside of these planter boxes. And these mealwood plants make silkworms, which are then mushed into a bar by the microbe musher and that is giving food for our colonists we've also got some research on the go and a place where our colonists can play some minecraft because of course we're playing with a bunch of hermits and friends over here in our colony we've got exuma void working really hard over there picking up some junk we have got stress and rosalind our latest uh, colonist digging away our latest platform up here and it looks like everybody's getting involved where's this girl gone oh there he is this girl's pretty busy also man everybody's doing a bunch of digging and it looks like we've got zero calories for food at the moment, which is not good. So let's kick things off by getting our freaking musher fabricating. Let's make some mush bars over here. It looks like we don't have any mealworms. And that actually reminds me, I think that we should probably start growing a few more of these mealworms over here, right? So let's plant a few more planter boxes so we can generate a little bit more food. What I've realized in this game, guys, is that we, need, we really do need to start thinking about future-proofing our little colony over here, right? I mean, things are going pretty good right now we've got food we've got oxygen we've got electricity but as we start adding new members into our colony resources are going to be consumed at a higher rate and of course the colonists are going to produce produce more waste at a higher rate and if we want this colony to survive we're going to have to find a way to manage all of that jazz right so let's head over into the research station last time i think we finished researching percolation which is giving us access to a bio distiller that converts slime to algae uh, an electrolyzer that produces oxygen from water, which sounds awesome, and a water purifier, which purifies contaminated water. Now, we know that there's a bunch of contaminated water around here, don't we? We know that Iskull has a very weak bladder and that he wheezes all the time. And maybe there's a way that we can start turning the colonists' wee into drinkable, usable water. That could be a nice, sustainable source of uh, H2O for us, right? That's something we can think about in the future. We also have to start looking around the map for other sources of water water and take a look at this guys i've actually spotted a little bit of water up here it's fresh water which is awesome and we're going to need to find a way to get that water into our colony we've got a couple of other water sources over here a nice big one over here and another juicy one over here and i want to find a way today to start piping this water into our colony here's my plan okay i want to turn this whole thing here into a self-sustaining base i want to seal it off from the rest of the environment because guess what's happening guys take a look at our gas map Look at all this gas that is starting to gather around the colony. We've got loads of oxygen, but there's lots of contaminated oxygen occurring around here. There's a whole bunch of hydrogen and carbon dioxide starting to enter the atmosphere. And the way that this game works is that in this vacuum, these gases are going to start competing with each other. I mean, look down here how much carbon dioxide is here, man. This is pretty crazy. And uh, this is probably not a good thing for the colonists, actually. We might want to dig these away so that this oxygen can flow a little bit easier. Look at that. They can't freaking breathe down here man stress is struggling oh geez okay so we're gonna have to really get going guys with making sure we can pump out all of these uh these excess gases and liquids so let's start researching gas piping because take a look at this we actually have the ability to make a gas pump which will draw in gas and run it through connected gas pipes that sounds pretty good we've also researched liquid piping which gives us this liquid pump and that's what i want to try and get done today let's see if we can start pumping some of this liquid into these electrolyzer things uh, that we have discovered. Now, let's open up oxygen over here and take a look at this. Electrolyzer. This thing looks freaking awesome. And I want to start installing this in our base. Is there any space over here on this floor? Absolutely no space at all. I feel like maybe what we should do is, is, is grow our colony a little bit in this direction. Let's start digging out there. And maybe what we could do is start to add an electrolyzer uh, somewhere around here. I want to try keep the colony as like beautiful as possible. So I guess what we should maybe do is install our electrolyzer somewhere central maybe we should install it right here this seems like a pretty good spot for an electrolyzer right because uh, it'll deal with all of this gas and all of that oxygen will start to filter through 
um, our colony over here, right? Now, we're going to have to get water into this thing, I think. So, this is where I think I might start derping up. Let's start installing some of this cool stuff. A liquid pump uh, needs to be submerged. There we go. Must be submerged in liquid to function. So, if we submerge this pump, like, over here... For example, is that going to start pumping out water? I don't even know if the guys can actually get down there. So maybe what we need to do is like dig away this and that'll give them access to the pump. And maybe what we could do is start running some of these liquid pipes toward our colony. So let's try that. Let's start running some pipage like this. This liquid pipe, I guess, is going to be transporting liquid like this. Oh, look at this. The pipe can actually go into this tile block. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. That's actually kind of useful. And take a look at that. There's the input for the water. Okay, so let's get back into building a few tiles down here. If this is going to be another part of our base, let's start making it look a little bit like our base. Uh, our top floor is almost done up here, which is fantastic. Let's start running this, this piping, though, from that pump all the way like this. And then I guess it's going to come down like so. And then like that and then up into the thing. Okay, that looks pretty good. I guess we need to make this a tile though also. There we go. We're probably going to have to make all of this a tile at some point. But there we go. That pipe is going to be running into our oxidizer. I guess it needs power though too, right? Okay, so let's start running a little bit of power cabling down into our second floor. I kind of feel like we need to find a way to manage all of these cables and stuff. And I was thinking maybe what we could do, we could use like the ladder section for pipage. So if we ran some power down here and stacked it on top of the liquid pipes, there we go. That's looking pretty good, right? Oh wait, hang on. Jeez, that's not going to work. Okay, uh, we're going to have to run the power a a little bit further into the electrolyzer like that okay perfect that looks pretty good also now that we're digging out over the on this side let's add a few more tiles over here to make our base look a little bit better and we probably want to get like an oxidizer in every single one of our floors so i'm thinking maybe what we should do is we should install the oxidizers at the end of our floors over here right so we're gonna have to dig away a little bit more over here add some more tiles underneath that too just like that and then maybe what we need to do is add another level over here so let's run a ladder all the way up and how high are our rooms they're four high right so we're gonna have to run some tiles all the way across oops uh, like a so <laughs> jeez i don't even know if my little guys are going to be able to do all of this work that i've assigned them right this is this is getting a little bit like a little bit intense for them they've got so much to do here uh, but this is looking pretty good, right? So all of our all of our floors are going to have oxidizers. I'm thinking like maybe um, this oxidizer should eventually be moved over here though, right? So that it's nice and symmetrical. Yeah, we'll get to that in a moment. But look at this. There's freaking chlorine over here. Man, we are one block away from chlorine action. That's not good. I'm assuming that chlorine is super deadly. Uh, anyway, let's have a look. How are we going over here? Stress and Exumavoid working their little butts off to connect the pipage to the pump. They do need to start building that pump at some point, though. And then we've got some daily reports over here. Let's take a quick look at this. Calorie generation zero. Okay, that's not good at all. That means we are totally out of algae right now. Okay, this is not looking good. Can these little mealworms please grow? Okay, they're 89% done. I think I saw a little bit of algae around here. Oh, jeez, guys, we need to start harvesting a little bit more algae. Is there any algae up here? Oh, here's some. Okay, please, guys, go dig up the algae. And let's set the priority for that algae to nine because we need to start making some mush bars. Our guys are going to start dying. And up here, what do we have? We've got carbon dioxide in this thing, so that's not good. Uh, but there's a bunch of algae over here. That's super tempting. Any more algae around here? Okay, there's some up here. Okay, perfect. Let's get some ladder action all the way like a so. And I think that's going to give them access to dig that up. Beautiful. And let's set the priority for that to nine also. Come on, guys. We need the algae, man. We need the algae for oxygen. And we need the algae for food right now. This, what's going on over here? Oh, no. This thing is, is stifled. What's wrong with it? Okay, maybe this thing needs to get deconstructed. It might be in the way over there. That's not good, man. We need every single one of our plants to be working over here. Uh, we are running out of food. We have zero calories. That's really, really bad. Let's have a look at the vitals. Um, stress, 0% stress. Okay, everybody is unstressed, which is good. Fullness, though. Exumavoid is getting super hungry. That's not good. They've eaten zero calories today. That is not good, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, hopefully that they, hopefully they will respond to my orders to collect the freaking algae. Oh, they have. Okay. Uh, guys, please come and pick up the algae. 
It's desperately needed. Who's that? Rosalind. Good work, little Rosalind. You do your business. Oh, no. We've got sand landed on the lavatory. <laughs> That's not good. And it looks like our storage facilities are almost completely packed up over here, too. So... That's a little bit worrying also. Exuma Void's working super hard over here. How far are we with our research? Uh, liquid piping, what are, we, what are we researching? Gas piping is 10 out of 20. Okay, so still a long way to go. Iskull doing some exercise on the hamster wheel. I like it, but everybody's super hungry. Oh man, this is, this is really bad. Um, what happened to the oxidizer? Um, oh, I think this was sand and the oxidizer broke. Okay, that's not good. We need to rebuild that then. Um, geez. Okay, come on, Stress. You can do it. You can make the platform. Okay. She's really struggling to work down here because of all the gas, I think. Oh, man. This is this is getting a little bit precarious over here. The, <laughs> the little freaking guys are taking way too long to do all of their tasks. Are we producing food yet? No. Okay, let's get rid of the freaking meal bar because that's not in production yet. And is anybody going to start making some food for us from the algae? Uh, Ren Dog, you're going to make some food? Yes, okay, fantastic. We're going to get some food in the belly. The algae is getting delivered, but we really do need to start eating now, man. Let's have a look at the vitals again. 16% uh, for Exuma. No, my fellow long fella is going to bite the dust if he doesn't eat something soon. Uh, hopefully they will get to this. Maybe they can't get to this because they, they don't have access, right? So... Uh, maybe we need to do something like this, I suppose. I don't know, man. Come on, you little bastards. Work a little bit faster. We need to get food up in this business ASAP.